Glory be to God in the highest. Honor, adoration be unto the Lord. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace and glory upon my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say today, my heaven shall be open. I shall see open heaven in the name of Jesus. Today, I shall see open heaven. I shall see open heaven in the name of Jesus. Today, my heaven shall be open. 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 My heaven shall be open by fire in the name of Jesus. Today, I shall see the glory of God. I shall see the grace of God. I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Today, I shall see the glory of God, the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the favor of God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Anywhere we find ourselves this morning with heart full of gratitude to the protector of our life, the joy that fills our heart. Let's lift up our voices, lift up our hands as we worship him in truth and in holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Daily as I live, often as I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Oh, daily as I live, often as I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. We cry, Abba, Father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba, Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. My soul will magnify the Lord. Oh, yes, how my spirit prays his name. For death could not hold him captive, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, even in our life. Jesus is Lord, our soul, our soul, we magnify the Lord. How I speak, rich praise is name, forget could not hold him captive. Even in this place, Jesus is Lord, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Praise the Lord always, praise the Lord always. Praise the Lord with all my heart. Praise the Lord with all my heart. Always. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Always. Praise the Lord. Always. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with all my heart. Praise the Lord with all heart. Always, hallelujah, my Lord is good. Our Lord is good on this mountain. Our Lord is good, is good to us. Oh, yes, oh, yes, our Lord is good, is good to us. Our Lord is good 
Oh, yes, our Lord is good, is good to us. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved. From my enemies, the Lord reigns. Blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be as the hotel. The Lord reigns. Blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be as I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will be praising from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Amen. I decree by the decree of the Almighty God, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. The grace, the anointing, the understanding, the backing of the Holy Spirit that will make us to praise God from this time and forevermore. We receive it now. We receive it now. We receive it now. We receive it now. Receive it in Jesus' name. And I begin to search the scripture. And I begin to look into the life of the king of Israel. Many began to reign as early as age of seven. Many begin to reign at age of 30. Some people begin to reign at age of 25. Some people begin to reign early in their age. Some people later. But the good thing is that they did not die before they reign. Why don't you declare it upon yourself? That whether things go up or down, by the mercy of God, my glory and my destiny shall reign. It shall not be silent. Moses began to reign at 80 years old. The Lord located him and commissioned him. Oh God, my father, don't let me die uncelebrated. Make my glory to reign. Make my glory to reign in the name of Jesus. Father, make my children glory to reign. Don't let my glory be silent. Don't let the glory of my children be silent. Father, make me to reign. We are born to reign on heart. He said, reign on this heart. There is a mandate upon the life of everyone that we shall reign on heart. Father, every answer, any challenges, whatever that does not make the destiny and life of anyone here to reign, life of sin will not make our life to reign. Demons operating in one's life will not make your life to reign. Problem will not make life to reign. Every answer, rainy forces, let them drop all in the name of Jesus. Many people in the scripture, when they encounter difficulties, the Bible will say, and they strengthen themselves. The Bible says, when they invaded the camp of David, he strengthened himself. The Holy Spirit as I continue in this revival program, Holy Spirit, strengthen my hands in prayer. Strengthen my mind. You don't want to know the battle we face. 
Sometimes Holy Spirit will say, don't even do this thing again. They don't even, it's not even necessary. But thank God for the Holy Spirit that always come to our rescue and strengthen us and strengthen us and comfort us. Holy Spirit, strengthen my prayer. Strengthen my soul. Strengthen my spirit. Declare On this brand new day, Holy Spirit, strengthen my mind. Don't let me look at weakness. Don't let me look at anything assigned to weaken my life. Anything assigned to weaken my prayer altar. Don't let me look at it. Holy Ghost, strengthen my life. Holy Ghost, strengthen my prayer altar as you strengthen Daniel. The Bible says, Anna prayed the more. <laughs> Abraham prayed the more. Moses prayed the more. When his hand is weak, the other people, they help lifted his hand up. They are strengthening him. Holy Ghost, support me in this program. Holy Ghost, support my life on this brand new day, declare it. Holy Ghost, strengthen my life. Holy Ghost, strengthen my life. Holy Ghost, strengthen my life. No wonder the Bible told Joshua, he said, be courageous. When the Bible says you should be courageous, means you should allow divine strength to encourage you. You will face many discouragement forces, but as a parent, be courageous. As the wife in, the, in, 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 the, in your husband's life, that you want that husband to succeed, be courageous. Holy Ghost, strengthen the strength. Do not strengthen me. Holy Ghost, strengthen my life. Holy Ghost, strengthen my prayer altar. Holy Ghost, strengthen my family. You might be passing through challenge times. Ask the Holy Spirit to strengthen you. As many are connected to hear God this morning, as the word is entering your ear, entering your body, entering your soul, it becomes strength to your mind in the name of Jesus. It becomes strength to your spirit man in the name of Jesus. He revived your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit speak for me. Where I do not have voice. Holy Ghost speak for me. Holy Ghost, where I do not have voice. Holy Spirit on this brand new day. Speak for my life. Speak for me. Speak for my children. Speak for me. Speak for my life. Speak for my children. Holy Ghost speak for my family. Holy Ghost shall speak for every life here. In the name of Jesus. You want Holy Ghost to speak for you. In the book of Acts of Apostles. Acts of Apostles chapter 13. Acts of Apostles chapter 13. And may I let you know. So, uh, some of you that when we send the uh, daily prayer. Uh, you always there to say. All those encouragement words. It's not that we don't see it. We really appreciate you so much. The Lord Almighty, we encourage you. We really appreciate you. Amen. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, now there were in the church that was Antioch, certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simon that was called Niger and Lucius of Crene and Mania, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and so, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work we are unto I have called them. We are going to stop there now. See, before we continue. Amen. When you see the scripture mentioning, the name of certain people, the title, the position of certain people. He wants you to pay attention. The, the believers gather themselves. Wherever you see believers gather, there is power. Christians are supposed not to be a routine people. They're supposed not to be a, a, a normal people like normal. They're supposed to be a new normal form of people that we are things that may, people think is impossible are happening. They gather themselves. Many of them are teachers. Many of them are prophets. What is that telling us? We are not gifted the same way. Some are prophets. Some are teachers. Some, they are, they are, they are just an encourager. But the scriptures say they did, not, they did not start striving. Eh, is the teacher they are using more than an evangelist? Is a prophet that is more valuable. Until we believers lift, we leave those out of our life, and we we operate 
in our gifting, the will God has given it to us. And we come together to edify one another. Simon, Barnabas, Niger, and Saul, they all, they all kept, they come together in one unity of faith. The Bible says, and as they minister to the Lord. When a believer is ministering to the Lord, they don't look at left and right. They don't look at, they don't allow bitterness. They don't allow division. They are focused. As the minister, you, everything you are doing, you are doing it unto the Lord. You don't care what, what, what you, you don't put your eyes in other people's stuff. You face your life. You face the things of the Spirit. The minister unto God. The Lord is expecting us to minister to Him. In fasting, you are ministering unto the Lord. In prayer, you are ministering unto the Lord. That's why people that know me very well, unless if it's an a emergency, during time of fasting and prayer, I don't like distraction. That's why you see the people of olden days, they will always go to the mountain. They separate themselves from the affairs of men. They separate themselves from activities of daily living in order to focus, in order to minister. Everything a child of God is doing, you are ministering unto the Lord. And there is no way you will minister unto God that he will not minister to you. There is no way you will minister or assembly to God that he will not minister to your need. There is no way. And Holy Spirit brought something into my hearing yesterday and said, do you know yesterday was the year you came to San Antonio? I said, oh, really? Wow. Just like yesterday. We never know anything that wanted to happen. Holy Spirit said, separate yourselves and go. Run like it is. Run. Don't wait. Go. And I was by us. I said, who will go with me? How am I going to do? I don't know anybody there. How am I going to survive? The very first visit I visit, we lodge in an hotel. And the, the, one of the, the waiters there, she said, there won't be room for you for more than one day. I said, don't worry. Just go ahead and register us. She said, we are fully booked. There is no, and all other days have been booked, only this one day. I said, my assignment here is three days. Uh, she said, I'm afraid you can only spend one day. Then after that, you will have to check out. I said, I'm not checking out. Somebody will check out for me. She said, what do you mean? These are people that are going to spend six, five, seven days, and they are usual people that I know. I said, don't worry. I just I said, don't worry about it. And lo and behold, in the morning, I quick, I, I, after devotion, after morning prayer, like this, I went to the, to the front desk, and I said, hey, madam. Ah, she said, I almost come to your room. You beat me to eat. I said, what's going on? Why do you want to come to my room? Oh, she said, I have a good news for you. Somebody check out. So you can have as many days as, as you need. And she said, oh, you remember you said it, that somebody is going to check out. And the woman said, whatever God has sent you to come and do. I never tell her anything. She said, whatever God has sent you to come and do in this San Antonio. She said, I am part of it. I want to be part of it. And she began to tell how she gave her life to Jesus Christ, how there is no Pentecostal church in this place, and she was eager to be part of the body of Christ. And Holy Spirit said, did you see you of little faith that you said we will go with you? Don't think of people that will go with you. I am with you. And lo and behold, as we landed in this San Antonio, God landed his two genera and said, follow, three, four. Before I know it, God begin to make it happen. God will make it happen for you in Jesus' name. It is good to listen to Holy Ghost. Don't listen to human beings. Some people say, ah, you can't go, you can't go. Are you not gonna are you not gonna go? I said, I wish I have options. Holy Spirit didn't give me options. That is why I'm praying for everyone. The Holy Spirit will speak on your behalf. How can it be possible for Paul, for Saul and Barnabas to say, Oh, separate us for the work Holy Ghost has said has done for us? Holy Ghost speak on their behalf. When Holy Spirit is speaking on your behalf. He make he, he direct things for you. He command nature. He command people. 
as the minister. Anybody that ministers unto God wholeheartedly, Holy Spirit always open his mouth and speak on their behalf. How can you get somewhere and say, oh, can you make me the head usher? It's not possible. But Holy Spirit will speak on your behalf if you are supposed to be that. That is why I am praying that Holy Spirit will reveal the mystery about your life, about salvation to, to you, to your children, in the name of Jesus. As they continue to minister to the Lord, there are many big, big prophets there. Prophets of Krene, uh, prophets of Mania, all these huge, huge prophets. Holy Spirit did not send message to them except to Saul and Wu, Barnabas. I pray that in the midst of of many. Holy Ghost will single you out and favor you in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost order the steps of Saul and Barnabas when they are ministering to God. I pray for you in this time of ministration to the Lord. Holy Spirit will order your steps. He will reveal the purpose of God for your life unto you in the name of Jesus. He will lead you in all your journey. You will no longer go astray. Holy Spirit will be a voice for you. Lift up your voice, Holy Spirit. Speak on my behalf. Holy Spirit, speak on my behalf. Holy Spirit, speak on my behalf. Who do you want Holy Spirit to speak to? Is it to your children? Is it to your employer? Is it to your co-workers? Is it to your spouse? Holy Spirit, speak on my behalf. In the name of Jesus. I, I try so hard. I say I will not tell anybody to move. I don't want to influence people like that. I want them to be able to live their life. When they say, oh, I'm moving. I will say, How did, why did you want to move? Tell me why. The Holy Spirit said I should move. They say, he said it's time for me to move. Holy Spirit, speak. Speak on my behalf. Holy Ghost, speak on my behalf. Holy Ghost, speak on my behalf. Yes, Holy Ghost, speak on my behalf. And many of you wondering, what am I supposed to be doing? What is my purpose at this time? Holy Spirit, reveal the mystery about my life to me. Lift up your voice, Holy Spirit. Reveal the mystery about my life. Reveal it unto me about my children. Reveal the mystery about my children to me. Mary was there, and the, the Holy Ghost was revealing the child you are going to born. His name is going to be called Jesus Christ. He's going to be the Savior. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. If Mary can receive certain revelation, like that about his son, we are entitled to information that we help us to operate effectively in the life of our children. The Holy Spirit reveal the mystery about my children's life. Reveal it, O oh Lord. Reveal it. Reveal the mystery about my life, about my spouse, about my, my every mystery about my life. Reveal it to me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. O oh, Maskerebo Shandaya, the work that nobody can stop. When the Lord says, separate Saul and Barnabas for me, if they are not the ones that say separate us, but the Holy Ghost speak. Holy Ghost spoke on their behalf and said, separate them. Nobody can stop that work. Lift up your voice. The work that nobody cannot stop. The work that no, there is no one that can stop it. Father, begin it in my children's life. Yes, the work of salvation, work of deliverance, work of healing. The work that nobody can, no one can stop. Father, begin it in my life. Begin it in my ministry. Begin it, O oh Lord. The work that nobody can stop. Begin it in my life. Begin it in my ministry. In the name of Jesus. So Holy Ghost, don't let me do wrong assignment. If Paul and Barnabas supposed to be going to the Holy Spirit send them, and they were just beating around the bush doing nonsense, they will not be fulfilled. Disappointment and frustration is what they're going to be bringing from there. That's why that will not be your portion. That is why in the, in the process of ministry uh, to the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, wherever you need me, send me there. Holy Ghost, wherever you need me, send me there. Holy Ghost, wherever you need me, send me there. Holy Ghost, wherever you need me, send me there. Send me there. Send me there. Send me there. Wherever you need me, Holy Ghost, send me there. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, reveal the purpose of God for my life. Reveal the purpose of God for my children today. Reveal the purpose of God for my life to me. Reveal the purpose of God for myself. Reveal it to them. Holy Spirit, reveal the purpose of God for Saul and Barnabas. He said, Holy Spirit, said, separate these people. This place is too tight. 
separate them and let me make use of them worldwide. Holy Spirit, speak divine message into my children's life. What I cannot tell them, what I cannot explain to them, Holy Ghost, speak to them. Holy Ghost, speak to my spouse. They are a strong guarded spouse. No matter what you tell them, only their, their self-will. And the self-will is destroying them. Holy Spirit, go and speak to my spouse. Holy Spirit, go and be a mouth to him. Go and be a mouth to her. Speak into my spouse's life. Speak into my children's life. Divine message. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, lead Paul and Barnabas. In the midst of the crowd, what that cannot be stopped, Holy Spirit, reveal it. When I come into your presence, I'm so happy. When I come into your presence, I'm so blessed, Lord. In your presence, there is anointing. Holy Spirit, moves around me. In your presence, anointing breaks the yoke. In your presence, anointing breaks the yoke. Yes, there every yoke of delay, every yoke of stagnation, every yoke of darkness. Oh, yes, by the power of Holy Ghost, break in my life. Yoke of stagnation, yoke of unfruitfulness, yoke of stagnation. In the name of Jesus, yoke of fear. In the name of Jesus, yoke of impossibility. All the yoke of darkness are signed to yoke the life of every soul here. Holy Ghost, break those yoke now. Break yoke of sickness. Break yoke of profitless ad labor. Break yoke of sin and sickness. Break yoke of Satan that he has placed upon life here. Holy Ghost, by your power, break stubborn yoke. Break stubborn yoke. Yoke of fear is broken in Jesus' name. Yoke of darkness over your life. Yoke of failure. Yoke of impossibility. Yes, Holy Ghost, break those yokes. Break it now. Break it now. Yoke of joblessness is broken in the name of Jesus. Paul and Barnabas were just there. But God, Holy Ghost spoke on their behalf. And the yoke of stagnation was broken for them. The yoke of uh, rotating the circle was broken for them. And they moved higher. I decree by the decree of the Almighty that in this revival of glory, yoke of stagnation is broken in your life. Holy Ghost, break the yoke of failure. Yoke of stubborn sickness. Holy Ghost, break those yoke in Jesus' name. Yes, yoke of impossibility. Every yoke that has been yoking your life, bringing obstacle, bringing frustration. Today is the end of that yoke. By the power of Holy Ghost, let all the stubborn yoke be broken. Stubborn yoke of delay. Stubborn yoke of stagnation. Stubborn yoke of impossibility. Stubborn yoke of fear. Stubborn yoke of loneliness. Stubborn yoke of deformity. Stubborn yoke of marital destruction. Whatever yoke that has followed you to this mountain by the power of Holy Ghost. Yes, there are many people here. Holy Spirit said, yoke of barrenness is broken. It's broken in your life. Yoke of desert spirit. Profitless hard labor is broken. It's broken. It's broken. Yoke of sin. Yoke of darkness. Yoke of jealousy. Yoke of pride is broken in Jesus' name. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is preventing the will of God from manifesting, today is the end of such thing in your life. In the name of Jesus. The word of God says, so they send them forth by the Holy Ghost. You don't just go somewhere. You just don't do things. Holy Ghost, we order your step in Jesus' name. As you are stepping out today, Holy Ghost, we order your step. To be at the right place at the right time. To do the right thing at the right time. To connect you to the right people. To connect you to the right voice. To do the right thing. And to receive the right outcome. And bring the right purpose to manifestation. In the name of Jesus. In this revival of glory. As Barnaba and Saul glory was distinguished and, f- and fished out. So shall the power of Holy Ghost locate the glory of your destiny, of our children, and bring it to manifestation. The glory shall not be silent in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit will not be silent concerning your case, 
concerning the case of everyone here in the name of Jesus. We ask to minister unto the Lord with our talent, with our gift, with our resources. We receive that heart in Jesus' name. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are the same yesterday, today, forever. We thank you for your move in our midst. We thank you for your work in our midst. We thank you for your work in our, in our ministration today in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you have begun your work in the life of these, your children. Perfect your work in Jesus' name. As you did in those days. Perfect your work. We give you praise. We give you honor. As Paul and, and, and Saul, as Barnabas, and so they were commissioned. I pray that the Holy Ghost will commission the life of everyone here today. In the name of Jesus. That which is difficult to receive. That which is difficult to possess. By the power of Holy Ghost. Possess your healing in Jesus' name. By the power of Holy Ghost. Possess your possession in Jesus' name. Nobody will pass through this ministration, this program of revival of glory and remain the same in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost power will rest upon you and catapult you to your next level in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you. To you, O Lord, be all the glory, all the honor, and all adoration. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The name of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and the name of God of Jacob be upon your life, be a blessing unto you, and defend you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. This is Mongiga Segodugo, prayer line ministry. And this is our yearly revival, which is still continue. Today being the 10th day of our fasting and prayer, we encourage you, if this is your first time of joining, please, we encourage you to join us in the fasting and prayer, and you shall be blessed as well. And all that heaven has prepared for us in this program will not elude us in Jesus' name. Join us again. We don't have program tonight. Until tomorrow at 11 p.m. Central Time and in the morning, at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow for Yoruba and 6 a.m. for English. And the weekend as well, at night, we do have at 9 p.m. Let us put it in mind and we shall be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you and see for you as you go in Jesus' name.